Randall and Associates is accepting applications for the following positions. Bounty Hunter. Job Description. Pursue high-risk bounties on behalf of various clients utilizing any and all means to apprehend and or terminate contracted targets. Job requirements. Should have experience with firearms, explosives, or energy weapons. Check. Must be organized and self-sufficient. Check. Interpersonal ability is helpful, but not essential. Check. An armed or melee skills a plus. Check. Moral flexibility preferred. Well, I did shoot a fellow in the back the other day on the suspicion that he might have been scouting out the town and not just getting a drink. Um, check. Pay benefits. Work at your own pace on your own schedule. The initial contract is 125 caps. Proven effectiveness will lead to more lucrative payments. Potential rewards include a custom revolver and duster. Ooh. To apply, see Stephen Randall at the offices of Randall & Associates. Decla disclaimer, Randall & Associates is not responsible for injuries and or death incurred while pursuing said contracts. Randall & Associates is an equal opportunity employer. How very modern of them. I don't know, what do you think? Fancy becoming a bounty hunter? We could even give you the hat if you want. I don't know, what do you reckon? I said you want to become a bounty member. I mean, bounty hunter. I will take that as a yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where Bert and I have decided that in between being the two most dashing rogues to ever grace the Mojave Wasteland with our presence, and in between winning every single damn card game we come across, uh, we're going to become bounty hunters as well, because why not? We get to shoot bad guys and get paid lots of money to do it, I think. Sounds good to me. Or squish them if you prefer. It's really up to you. Uh, the, only, the only question is, how are we going to split the pay? Well, we'll, we'll cross that particular bridge when we get to it, shall we? Anyway. <laughs> so, the office of Randall and Associates is, I believe... Yes, it's in Prim. Or, or a little, well, kind of next to it anyway. So, all the more reason to head south for Prim. Which is our next destination. So I'm just going to pop over to the ammo desk here. Ammo desk. Ammo bench, whatever. And see if we... No, okay, we can't actually make any more hey. ammo. That's fine. And we're going to go to Prim. We're going to go to Prim. Have we got everything we need? Everything. We've got a 10mm pistol mark two, 9mm, binoculars, cowboy repeater, shit ton of dynamite, frag grenade... Frag mines, lever action shotgun, carbine, shovel, varmint rifle, backpack, flashlight, leather armor, a bunch of this stuff, um, our canteens, uh, we should probably stop, get a drink, and refill our bottles on the way out. We got some gecko steaks, some gecko meat that we can roast on one of the campfires down in yonder direction, as these locals would put it. And we should be fine. I think we're good to go. So let's go. The only thing I didn't do was grab all my repair parts and check the bench to see if there's anything I could make out of them. But uh, yeah, we'll do that at another date. My repair skill's pretty rubbish at the moment anyway, so... Hello, Mr. Cobb. Top of the morning to you, old chap. It's Frankie's guns and ammo. Hello, robot. Hello, blue lady. I really am in a fine mood, you know. I think it was beating Ringo twice at Caravan that did it. Really set me up for the day it did. A few viewers are watching this at home, by the way, and wondering if Sir Dave is not perhaps developing a bit of a gambling problem. I believe you might be onto something. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Yeah, drink. There we go. And let's see if we can fill some stuff up. Bottle water. There we go. What? I'm just filling up water. Oh, yes. The Sunny Time Cigarettes headquarters. Must set about that place the better, frankly. Let's hop down here and down here like mutated mountain goats. My goodness. I didn't expect you to follow me down there. I thought you were going to go running off half a mile in that direction to try and get round, but fine. Again. But not only cleverer than you might imagine, more agile, too. Gecko steaks. Thank you very much. Are we hungry? We are a little peckish. Let's have a honey mesquite pod. There we go. Now, we may need to be very, very quiet, my dear fellow, because... Oh, not only are there geckos around, but I did see some powder gangers lurking around down here somewhere. Yesterday, when we came down here. So let's try and be cautious. I don't really know why I'm bothering to sneak with you around, but... Whatever. Force of habit, I suppose. Uh, what have we got then? Uh, this is that little campsite I spotted. I need something with a bit larger caliber. Uh, hello there, my dear fellow. Let's see if we can sneak up a bit closer, shall we? Never mind. Miss that time. I might check up there actually, as well, since we're here. Those bundles of dynamite, they look like time bombs. Just hold up there a second. My god. Who does that? Who sets up bombs about five feet away from the, where they're standing? Motherfucker. Steal the dynamite. Oh, yeah, well. Is there not something deliciously ironic about stealing from powder gangers? Makarov. Interesting. It's a little unusual, I'll take it. Is it any better than the regular 9mm pistol I've got? Oh, curiosity. TPS 57, damage 12. Damage, it's not actually, it's good. It's an adorable little pistol, look at it. Oh. What else have we got? An armor case. Dynamite, goggles, helmet. No, thank you. Yes, I'm a terrible person. I really am. I mean... I can't help it. Stealing from thieves. How... how oh! Hello. There's a bunch of them over there. Right then. Old chap, let's see if we can't get you to flank them. Off you go. Go on. Oh, for heaven's sake, man. It's a caravan in the way. You need to go round it. There you go. Okay. Now then. There we go. Get stuck in. Oh, God, God! That motherfucker has died. I thought he was set to essential. Oh dear. I was under the impression that he was set to essential. He should have been. Hmm. Oops. That's odd, isn't it? Well, uh... Is there an option somewhere I've unticked? Uh, 
Okay, we're back. Now essential. He's supposed to be set to essential. I think I just buggered something up when I was editing him in the GEC. So I've just set him essential with the console. No problem. He's probably the only companion that I will leave as essential, actually, come to think of it. Just because... It saves me having to reload the game every time he dies, more than anything, frankly, you know, so... They come, with a, they come as a pair, these two, you see. It's like Minsk and Boo, you know, you can't have one without the other, so... Oh, hello. Alright, yeah, come on. Shit! Did we get him? Oh, good heavens. Yeah, well, it's a good, good thing you are essential then, isn't it? <sighs> you clumsy bastard. Well, that sorted him out, didn't it? Oh my god! I did not see that, whatever it was. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> right, doctor's bag. You oof. Have a stim pack. Calm down. He's probably going to be still walking around with a crazy limp on you, though. Right, well, I'll be having those fucking cowardly gangers. Now I really hate them. Before I was just shooting them on principle, now it's personal. Read note. The note reads, not many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew's thinking we should make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north. Head towards the strip. You in? Ain't on the train gang anymore, but we still got to stick together. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Now, let's let's go with the same plan we had before. Right, let's modify it slightly by having me get a bit closer first. Well, once we start moving anyway. So... Motherfucker. Off you go. Yeah, don't you go limping at me. You're perfectly fine, old chump. Oh. <sighs> of all the henchmen in the world, I had to be stuck with you. Motherfucker. Get on with it. Really, you're going to limp the whole damn way. Oh, for the love of... Sweet Mary, mother of mercy. Fine, I'll do this the old-fashioned way. You uncooperative green fool. Come on. Let's get in some cover first. You re Oh, for the love of all oh, that's fucking holy. Are you going to be just limping at that pace the whole time now? I don't know what to do with you. Be aggressive. Go on, go kill. Attack. Charge. Oh, well, you know. It turns out they've got even less brain cells to rub together than you have. Never mind. Oh, this really is intolerable. Oh, now you're running. Now you're running. As soon as you put your damn... If you get your weapon out, you... 
slow one on. I don't get it. I don't understand. Whatever. I'll just have to give you a minigun or something. I don't want to abuse that thing because it's kind of ridiculous, but... GSH-18. That looks like it might be quite good, actually. Oops. I did not want that. Except as maybe a disguise, but no. Nah. How about I give Mother you fuck. some dynamite? This could be a terrible idea or a brilliant one. I haven't decided yet, but you can have some dynamite. More than enough of the stuff to go around, after all, so... Geckos and bloat flies out there. Hmm... Did we loot all of you, then? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, damage 15. That's pretty good. Kind of odd-looking, but... It'll do. I like it. I'll keep it. Oh, look at an aeroplane. Oh, if only my great, 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 great grandfather were here. The fun we'd have. Well, let's see. Oh, you seem to be back on form then. Although, I'd rather you. Oh, motherfucker. You think you're fucking hammer, you imbecile. Right. Gene skydiving. Oh shit. Why is it with the limping again? Seriously. Okay, you're full health again now. You should be fine. Ah, hello, lights. Locksmith's Reader! Oh, the best of magazines. Some machine gun, not bad. I do like this pistol, you know. Although I think I might switch to this. Because I did spot, yes. Bomb shelter, okay. Ammunition, boxing tape, a cleaver, silent pistol, wasteland wander around for it. No, thank you. Oh, dynamite. Okay then, well. Oh, this could go either horribly or excellently. Like really horribly. There might be six of them down there waiting for me right in the face. My health's not doing too good either, really, is it? I don't think... No, no, I'm okay. It was just... Bert's health wasn't looking too good. Speaking of which, there you are. Right. It's kind of dark down here. Oh, it's a mannequin. Oh. <laughs> I was worried there for a second. Hey! Oh shit! Oh Jesus! Oh god! No, 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 no. Bad times, bad times, bad times. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh god. Thank god for all this armor. Who'd have thought this thing would be more useful in close quarters than the shotgun? Where the hell? Oh, I think he's unconscious. Yeah, he, uh, my dynamite might have had something to do with that, come to think of it. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Homemade SMG. Oh, God, no, I've got enough dynamite already. And yet he picks up more of it. You know, we should probably worry about looting when I'm... <laughs> when my health isn't terrible. When bad motherfucker is conscious again, and... When we know this place is clear. Yes, get up. How are you doing? Okay, you're back to full health, apparently. A really terrible shotgun. Okay. Four hide cowboy hat. What do I think of that? Not much is the answer. Ooh, valuable. Yeah, having that. Oh. No. No. The copyrighted song of Doom. Where the hell is... Oh, well, it's too late now. Just might as well just enjoy the music, I suppose. <laughs> God damn it. Old cowboy hat. I don't know. Not much one for the cowboy aesthetic, but there's something classy about this hat. I'd almost rather prefer a bowler hat, actually. That'd be jolly good fun. You know what? You'd look good in a bowler hat. If I could make one improvement to you, that's what it would be. Yeah, bowler hat, you know. Small black hat. Small rim. Never mind. Looks kind of like a helmet, I suppose. It's tempting. It's tempting. I'll have to think about that. Hang on a minute. What does it do? Gives me extra DT. <sighs> Might just keep that for now. Oh, hello. Empty first aid box. Well, never mind. What the hell is that radio, anyway? There's music coming out of nowhere. Oops. No, I've already searched that one. Not you, nothing. You know what? Why am I putting my weapon away? When there's very... Oh, yeah, that's, that's the other thing I need to know. Where the hell is that thing? Yeah, this needs to be hotkeyed so I don't end up having to whip out the fucking carbine in the middle of combat because I was tapping one in the middle of that combat in there and my pistol wasn't coming out and it's because I picked up this instead of the 9mm. I need another stim pack. Sneaky little shit. I think we're getting close to the radio on the bright side. There you are, you little... Oh god, there's another one somewhere. Out of the... You just get out of the way. Oh. Seriously, man. Thank you. 
Where are you? Oh, it's a jute box. Finally some peace. Right. Okay. Toy box. Foot locker, foot locker. I don't suppose there's anything useful in the toy box. Didn't think so. Is it? Oh! Yeah. Motherfucker. To make up for all the times I've been mean to you and because I kind of blew your face open with a, with, a, with a stick of dynamite earlier. So there you go. You can have another teddy bear. In the meantime... Bottle of dirty water. No thanks. No, no, definitely no thanks. Strange meat pie. Strange meat pie, eh? Strange meat. Uh-oh. Scotch. Oh. Alright. Human flesh. Well, there it is. Now I'm extremely glad we killed those gentlemen. I really am. Rick's terminal. Get to that in a second. Flower? No, thank you. Freezer box. Small strange meat. Oh. Hmm. God, what have we? What have? Oh, what have we found? What have? We... Motherfucker. Chinese Army Spec Ops Training Manual. Oh. Sneak increase by three. All right then. Hitchhikers maybe escape prisoners. Or cannibals! Alright then. Rick's Diary 01. Dad showed me how to use this old computer, so I've decided to keep a journal of our life down here. Dad bought the key to this pre-war bunker from a nearby merchant, thanks to his old job hunting down criminals, and of course, the fact that he was the very best. We now have enough caps to settle down as a family. Dad says we can't go out much though because people may be after him and us because of the bad people he has killed. I don't mind, I like it down here. We finally brought in the last of the supplies. Phew, I've never seen so much food in one place before. Mum says we'll have to get... Well, we have enough steak alone to last us the rest of our lives. <laughs> That's an unintentional joke. If I ever saw one, Dad laughed. He said it would probably last us a week, a week this around. Oh my God, I can't believe it. In the night, we heard a lot of noise coming from the local prison. Dad went out to check it for, check it out this morning. While he was out, we heard a banging coming from the hatch door. Mum went to investigate in case it was Dad. I heard shouting, so I went to see what was going on. It was two men dressed in blue. They had knives and dynamite. Mum shot at them. She was fast and always was a good shot, but one must have got real lucky because they put they cut her real bad. I got bandages and stim packs as quick as I could, but she wouldn't stop bleeding. By the time Dad got back, she was dead already. Emily was hysterical about Mum, and Mum but Dad managed to calm her down. He told us later there had been a riot at the prison and convicts had taken over the place. The local NCR fled the area, leaving us to defend for ourselves. Dad says now we are not to leave the shelter under any circumstances. Emily was unhappy about it. She made friends with an older kid called Sonny from the local town last time we were allowed out. Dad got mad when she complained too much. I thought he was going to hit her, but he didn't. I don't know what we're going to do without him. Without Mum, even. Dad has begun to teach us how to defend ourselves properly. He even let me try out his work gun. It has a hell of a kickback on it, so I thought I was going to bruise my palm. 
Uh, he also told me his eyesight was beginning to fail him. He said something about cats in them, but I can't remember the word. He says we have enough supplies left to last about four years, and no matter what happens, we are to stay in the shelter until the food runs out. Dad says Emily is still too young to look after herself properly, and that I am going to have to look after her soon. I'm sick of typing. I look back and see too many unhappy memories. Maybe if I stop typing, things will get better. Unknown user entry 1. Heh, <laughs> the stupid kid will make a damn fine stew. Little shit took out two of my boys, though. Well, at least we lucked out on this place, and now I have a cool new gun. Sweaty boots us out of the prison after we eat another dead guy. Well, what the fuck are we supposed to eat? Our own shit? I'll kill that piss weasel one day. Why the hell am I kidding? You don't deserve to be cremated. Use your own really terrible shotgun. You little cunts. So sick and twisted, even the powder gang has chucked them out. God, I don't know why I'm reloading this thing. Hold on. 2.2 times 7 versus... What's this? 7.3 times 7, yeah. No, it is a really terrible shotgun. It's worth a hell of a lot of money, though, for a really terrible shotgun. My God. We got this. I don't really like guns that chew through loads of ammo very quickly, though, that's the problem. Oh, and there's this, isn't there? This is pretty shitty, too. <laughs> it's already jammed. Uh... Well, that really brought the mood down, didn't it? It's not even worth keeping. Let's get rid of it. Right, there's that. Oh, man. Well, the sooner we put this place behind us, the better, eh? Moving swiftly on. I can see why there's call for bounty hunters in this place. I really can. I'm still not sure about this hat. What bugs me about it is that when you're walking, you can't see in front of you. <laughs> the brim comes too low. I'll go with that for now. I'll decide later. Jesus, well. <sighs> oh, quit your limping. Seriously, man. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. What if I give you a doctor's bag? Will that help? Motherfucker. I don't even know if that works, but I'll give it a try. Motherfucker. No, it didn't work. I motherfucker. Whatever. You seem to be running perfectly fine. Just don't slouch, man. It's bad form. It really is. It'll give you bad posture and everything. You don't want that. Well not gonna say I started off in such a good mood this morning as well. 
such a bloody good mood, and now, well, I guess that's, that's the that's the wasteland for you, isn't it? Oh, you're in a jolly good mood. Well, let me just fix that for you. You know, oh, you're you're you've got a steady, well-paying job as a courier. Well, let me just shoot you in the head and leave you in a coma, eh? Oh, you've got lots of caps and you've been winning games of cards and you've just become the hero of the local town, have you? Well, have a bunch of murdered family members and eaten by cannibals. And an idiot super mutant to babysit as well.